The thyroid is echinormal. The right lobe has several small hypochoic areas. These discrete lesions have no clinical or oncological significance. A large nodule occupies almost the entire left lobe. There is a coarse calcification in the lower pole of the nodule. The nodule is minimally moderately hypochoic and has numerous echogenic granules. When the movement of the transducer was slowed down, it turned out that the previously seemingly solid nodule actually contained flowing fluid. So then, there was no question about the origin of the echogenic foci. These are back wall figures. It is very important that the figures that flash in the Doppler examination and in microflow imaging always appear in a different place. This rules out blood flow within blood vessels. In fact, the flow was triggered by the pressure on the cyst. Now, we present the aspiration of 14 milliliter thick cystic content. On the first try we could remove only 2 milliliter fluid. Even though we moved the needle, we couldn't suck in more liquid, which meant that the needle has clogged. Now, the second attempt is demonstrated. This time, 4 milliliters of liquid was aspirated before the needle became clogged again. The last attempt proved to be the most successful. This time we managed to aspirate 7 milliliters of cyst content. Now, the nodule is presented after the removal of 14 milliliter fluid. The nodule became much smaller. Note. The flow within the seemingly solid echinormal part. The borders of the lesion became irregular, lobulated which should not be regarded as a pathological finding after the aspiration of cystic content. Note the back wall figures in the form of echogenic granules and lines. The blood flow is again deceptive, the place of the flashing figures changes continuously.